Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. We are going to work out our back muscles. So without any delay, let's start. I'm beginning my workout as usual with the dynamic stretch, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, making sure my upper back is stretched and my hips are open. Good stretch in my inner thighs, my glutes, my hamstrings, all, all my compound muscles. Really love this stretch. I keep speaking about it on a regular basis. But I think it's quite vital and I'll keep recommending this to anyone and everyone. If they are able, they should be doing it on a regular basis. Five repetitions each side before starting the workout should be quite enough if you can also uh, do this particular stretch as a static stretch wherein you can hold at that uh, at any particular point for 15 to 20 seconds or you can just move through it like I do before my workout today I'm also going to do a, se a second variation of back dynamic stretch just show you shortly after completing my last rep so for my second variation of stretch what you you would need is that to sit down comfortably at a height take a foam roller or or any roller any kind which you can hold in between your legs now what is this going to do is it is going to keep your hips absolutely straight while doing the rotations and as you can see I have taken a long stick you, you could do any stick would be fine absolutely and I rotate I rotate on each side creating a mobility drill for my upper back while keeping my lower back and my hips constant the reason why you need to hold something with your legs is if you don't your hips will turn along with your body and we would lose the stability so pretty simple I have done each side some 8 to 10 repetitions you would feel an excellent stretch in your upper back and in your lats while doing this that's it for our dynamic stretching now let's move on to our warm-up exercise for our warm-up exercise I'm doing the chest supported rows now if you don't have this particular equipment if you have uh, I'm, I'll be glad please you uh, do it on the machine if you don't have it you can do it with dumbbells at an inclined setup uh, single hand rows just to warm our back up for the actual working sets at this moment of time I'm not taking uh, the chest support because I'm doing it single hand at a very light weight feeling the contraction pulling my elbows as far behind as possible and at the same time letting go as far ahead as possible to create the stretch and contraction both at the same time so that's the reason i have distanced myself from the chest support to give myself more space so that i can stretch my arm more and pull it also more back by creating a rotation you can see it here clearly how my body moves to the range of motion my focus was entirely on getting a great amount of stretch and contraction on my entire lat without involving my biceps much they would jump in eventually but I would try to keep their involvement as less as possible really glad, uh, really glad I had this equipment at my disposal makes the setup of this exercise quite simple now let's begin with our working sets so we are going to do again three sets max two max 12 to 15 repetitions 12 repetitions should be challenging with a challenging weight if you're going up to 15 that means the weight is not challenging enough so i have taken almost uh, maybe two by third of my body weight and i was pulling it so i was able to get good challenging 12 repetitions here you can see i have taken the chest support now can see from the side angle how it looks for both my second and third set in second set and third set I tried to be as explosive as possible 
while getting the stretch and while pulling it back as strongly as possible. For my third set, as you see on your right side, I have done a drop set. So for drop set, I was constantly trying to get as many repetitions as possible and then immediately once I fail, switch the weight a little bit down and then go for it again. I was able to get around good 15 to uh, 18 repetitions with challenging weight and constant drops. That's it. We are done with our first exercise. For my second exercise, I am going to do the lat pulls. Again, to start the exercise, I am going to do a single hand grip first. Now, if you don't have this particular equipment, you don't need not worry. You can do this same movement using a normal lat pull down machine and using a single hook uh, to pull the uh, cable down. So the cue here is to focus on getting your elbow towards your hip and trying to touch your hip or the side of your hip with your elbow, basically creating maximum contraction on your lat and then letting it go all the way up, maximum uh, lengthening of your lat muscle. So a little bit of body rotation would happen when you're trying to squeeze in and press the elbow into your hips. You can see clearly how my hand goes up, my lat stretches and then as I come down and squeeze, creates a contraction. This is only for first set, each hand 12 repetitions. We are going to do three sets, uh, challenging weight, 12 repetitions. So let's go for our second set. Breaks again, 60 to 90 seconds. The moment you feel good, jump into the exercise as soon as possible. If you're using equipment like me, the breaks can be shorter because you don't need much of a setup. The machines are very well calibrated so you can recover quickly. For second and third set, I jumped in using both my hands, trying to go as heavy as possible without losing on form and getting the maximum contraction. The movement cue, I did not miss on it. Like I used to do on the cable machine, I continued doing the same way. When in neutral, I kept the handles just above my head and when as I pull it down, I moved a little bit back by leaning back with my hips to create, get that extra amount of contraction and driving my elbows behind my body. This should make your lats feel quite pumped up post the exercise. Last few reps and we are done with this exercise. After this exercise you can take a minute or two to jump into the next exercise. So. For my next exercise, finally, I'll be doing face pulls. Miss them for quite some time. Here you can see I'm using two uh, cable push down attachments. Luckily, they were not occupied, but you can do it with one. With two, you get that extra bit of stretch on your upper back. Right now, I'm working on my upper back, the mid traps, the upper traps, the uh, rhomboids, the infraspinatus and supraspinatus, basically the entire posterior upper chain. So great exercise to build good upper back strength. I forgot to mention I'm doing a ladder set here. So I'm going to increase this uh, weight every set. And then once I'm unable to get 10 or 8 repetitions, I'd start dropping the weight. I started with a minimal weight, nothing uh, much. I think I started with 15 kilos and then I moved up 20 kilos. I think I do two increments. Yes, I go for two increments. I went up to, I think, 25 kilos maybe without losing out on my form or uh, tripping forward. It happens if you load heavy, the uh, weight would be heavy enough to pull you forward. So we have to make sure that the load remains in control. When doing the motion of pull, try to drive the range of uh, drive the 
cables with your wrist as far behind as possible to get the maximum amount of contraction in your upper back. So I have just decreased the weight, dropped some weight to get more repetitions. See how I drive my wrist as far behind as possible to get the complete squeeze on my upper back muscles. I just took it a few seconds because I was completely tired but I'm going to finish it off. I have gone to my first set weight. I'm just making sure you can still see me. Now, my last set I tried to go up to 15 repetitions but I failed near I think 12, 12 reps wherein I failed. So it's a ladder set. So you don't you don't need to do multiple, but if you fail like me, wherein you need a break, take it and try to complete the ladder set. And that's it for our third exercise. For our last back exercise, I was uh, I I did uh, single arm rows with a support. I took the support of a Smith machine, and you can see my rowing motion. I placed one leg back. A little bit so that I can move the weight as close to my body as possible and take it to my hips you can see how I do the rows using both kettlebell and a dumbbell you can do it both ways you can use straps to get extra amount of grit, uh, grip support but otherwise without straps is also absolutely fine I, 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 I try to be as explosive as possible and drive the weight across my hips without getting much of a contraction in my biceps and it was a good back workout. To finish off, we are going to do the dead hangs. So we'll continue to do the dead hangs every day on a regular basis. Calluses hurt but that's what it is. We have to build our forearm strength. If you did like the workout and simple uh, it was very easy very small very crisp but very effective just make sure the weight is challenging and you will get the required results so if you did like the workout please do drop a like if you have any feedback regarding the program or regarding the way i'm working out please do share on your on the comment drop a comment and i will definitely go through it if you haven't yet subscribed which most of my viewers aren't please do subscribe to the channel. It gives me a lot of positive feedback and it helps me push further and also the channel tends to reach more people with more subscribers I have. And to finish off with, I'm going to stretch my lats by the simple lat stretch, which I have done in my previous videos also. Put your hand on a support and drop your weight onto the side of the support, creating a stretch on your upper lat all the way across to the lower part i've done both my sides a couple of times 15 to 20 second hold on each side my lats were completely flared up trust me i had a good the chest supported uh, rowing machine gave me a good amount of pump and the lat pull down machine was well calibrated i got a good amount of squeeze on my upper back and thanks to the face pulls my upper back was completely full of blood. So again, thank you for joining me. I'm really grateful for you to join me and work out along with me. I hope the workout was as effective to you guys as it was for me. So on that note, I'll I bid you a good evening and I'll see you in the next video. We'll be working on, I think, the chest muscle yeah we are due for our chest muscle so see you in my next video thank you